no photoshop here hello and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you how to achieve this look the james charles louis vuitton slightly controversial look with makeup only no photoshop no face tune right here there's no filter whatsoever just makeup so if you would like to see how i created this look how you can create this look carry on watching i hope you enjoy Okay, as I'm moisturising, I'm just going to share my two cents about this whole James Charles situation. I'm going to moisturise with the Vichy V Mineral 89 Booster Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. This. I think that James Charles, I think that he didn't intentionally want to make people believe he did the Louis Vuitton logo on his eyes. I don't think he wanted people to see it and think, oh my god, as if he's done that with makeup. But on the other hand, I do see that side of the internet that's like, well, you always said you weren't going to photoshop your makeups. And you did and I sort of agree I am all for editing but it is a little bit like unfair when people overuse that especially when they say oh no I haven't photoshopped my picture this is what I look like they don't it's not harmful that he did that but it wasn't clear that he wasn't trying to trick people into believing that that makeup was done with brushes you know and he's a very talented young man he has so many young teenagers following him aspiring to be like him so it would be nice to have it in the caption guys i did have to photoshop the logo on i would love to know what you think about it please share your thoughts on the matter a lot of people believed that james charles didn't come forward didn't share the fact he photoshopped it on this was quite interesting because i see both sides and i don't think they should have cancelled him as quick as they did because it's just makeup at the end of the day anyway i'm going to show you how i create that look with just makeup no photoshop and i will start off with my eyes it's just easier to clean up especially cut creases you can get that sharp line you're also going to be happy to see i think that i'm using the conspiracy palette from shane dawson and jeffree star i'm going to take anastasia beverly hills eye primer and prime my lid but i'm actually focusing on top portion i'm not bothered about my mobile lid too much because i'll be cutting the crease anyway later on i've cleaned all of my brushes and it's just so good i can choose whatever i want i'm so happy i'm going to pick up 231 from jazz up and i'm going to dip into tanacon i'm putting that just above my crease and i'm patting it on from the inner corner to the outer corner I want it to reach about quarter of an inch away from the brow and I'm going to take 227 from Jazz Up and blend the edge. I'm going to reapply Tanacon one more time in the same area, building this a little bit and then blending it one more time. And as you can see, because of the blending, I left that quarter of an inch away from the brow and because of the blending, it's almost near my brow. That's why I always just leave a nice gap. It's always easier to add than to take away. I'm now going to take that 231 and dip into Diet Root Beer, the darker brown, and I'm stamping it in my crease. I'm also using this brush to blend it in. And then the 227, blend it even further. Again, I'm going to build Diet Root Beer. I always add at least two layers of the shade that I'm putting on. Apply it on, I blend it, apply it on one more time and blend again. Sometimes I do that several times. It just gives you a nice blend, but also the intensity that you want. I'm going to take 234 from Jazz Up and dip the tip into diet root beer like so and then my rides here um i just want a dark brown it looks black to be fair 
that's fine. I'm going to stamp this in my crease. I'm taking the 231, the smaller blender, and picking up some diet root beer. And I'm going to begin to blend this dark brown slash black with this. And then the 227 again, and blending with that too. I'm also winging this out just ever so slightly. Pretty happy with that. I'm now going to take a Q-tip with a little bit of makeup remover and I'm going to use it to clean up my mobile lid. All right, time to cut the crease. I'm going to take that Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer once again and a flat brush and I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm not going to set the lid just yet. I'm actually going to take an angled brush and dip into cheese dust, the orange, and I'm going to use this to create that line that highlighted the cut crease. Because the base is wet, it really sticks on there. So you don't need an actual liner. You could cut this again if you wanted to, but mine looks pretty neat. So instead of cutting mine again, I'm just going to take a flat brush and dip into my pills. You could set it with your powder, that could also work. And like I said at the beginning, the reason why I like to do my eyes first, especially when I do cut creases, is because I'm able to take a cotton round with some makeup remover and then I can wipe the edge of my cut crease. This acts as a guide for my liquid liner. So I'm now able to take a liquid liner and it's like super easy to give myself a wing. There's one more touch to this makeup before the logos. I'm taking that angled brush again, dipping into cheese dust again and making a very thin line above the liquid liner. I actually forgot about this. You could probably do this before the liquid liner. It would probably be a little easier because I'm getting the eyeshadow on the liner. So I'm probably going to have to trace it one more time. I'm going to clean up just ever so slightly. So here it is. This is what James Charles had done with makeup, but we're not going to stop there. We're gonna get started on the logo bit. You could either use a extremely thin eyeliner brush, but mm, they can be a little flimsy. I actually found, because I did do this off camera to try it out, I actually like a dotting tool, a very, very small dotting tool. I highly recommend it if you are going to recreate this look. So I'm dipping my dotting tool in my eye primer. If you have a liquid liner that's set, that would probably be even better, or like a cream liquid. Never mind, I'm gonna use something else. I wanted to say if you have the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Drug Lord but then I remembered the logo isn't white, it's like a creamy colour and I have a creamy very pale liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star which I could use for this. This is I'm Nude and I'm going to use that, hopefully this is going to work. So I'm actually going to start here at the front, so we have the Louis Vuitton logo and I'm making a line first. Mm. I don't think this is pale enough actually. I'm going to take a little bit of my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I'm going to mix it with my liquid lipstick. At least that way they are both going to somewhat set. If you don't have these, again, just use even a concealer. A concealer would probably be good, but make sure to use one that does set matte or then you would have to go over with an eyeshadow. That's a little bit better, okay. So I'm making the V, this is where you practice your steady hand and don't worry if it's not perfect, at least it will be done with makeup. And then the L goes through the V a little bit. Not perfect, but makeup doesn't have to be perfect. Now let's make one of like the symbols and I think if I make the dot first I can work around it. It's like a flower, so I'm going to make a square that's on its side first, and then it almost already looks like that symbol. I just want to make it a bit more round. I'm doing a terrible job at explaining what I'm doing, but with looks like this, you kind of just want to look at the picture and try and recreate it. Okay, time for another LV. 
I'm actually going to do it really low. They're not all lined up. It is a pattern. No wonder he photoshopped it on. It's not easy. One more swirly whirly thing. From far away, really good. Close up, not so much. But I don't care for perfection. Again, neither should you. I think it looks pretty cool. What do you think? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to do my other eye off camera and I will be right back. This eye was so much more difficult and is nowhere near as good as this one, but it's okay. I'll just pose with this side. I'm done with the eyes for now. I'm going to do my base and then come back to the eyes. I'm going to do my favorite base recently, which is the Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation. You know me, I have to bronze with some cream bronzer and uh, yes, I'm taking my fave Revolution Matte Base Concealer in 13.5. And the concealer I use over and over again recently is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. And now I'm going to set my under eye and my forehead with the RCMA No Colour Powder. Okay, I'm just going to dust off excess powder. For my contour today, I'm going to be using Revolution Patricia Bright Trio in Moonlight Glow and I am taking that middle shade. When I do wear warm tones, oranges and browns on my eyes, I always like to really bronze my face. I don't know why, I just think it looks nice. And to fit the theme of this makeup, I'm using Rimmel Maxi Blush in Sweet Cheeks, which is orange. And finally, for my highlight today, I will be using I Heart Revolution Rose Gold Glow and recently I have been mixing the two shades in the palette. I like this glow so much, I'm actually going to take my brush and just sweep a little bit of this underneath the brow. don't want to smudge everything, so I'm being very gentle with it. My base is done, let's get back into the eyes. I'm not sure what James Charles is wearing on his lower lash line, so I'm just going to guess. What do I want to do? Okay, I'm going to take that 231 pencil brush I was using all along like a small blender. I'm taking Diet Root Beer and I'm going to stamp this on my lower lash line. And now I'm taking the 227 the blender and I'm blending the edges and to be fair kind of want to leave it there but I want that depth from the upper lash so I'm taking the 234 I'm dipping into diet root beer and literally tapping my brush super gently into my rides here the black and then I'm just going to just barely touching my lash line I'm going to put that on it on the lower lash line okay let's blend this in I think that looks fine let's do the other eye we're almost done for my mascara today I'm using Lash Paradise or Paradise Ecstatic from L'Oreal I almost forgot to do my brows I wonder how many of you were screaming at me for not doing my brows for my brows nothing new Isla Pomade in Blonde. For my lashes today, I'm of course using Sminko and the style is Freak. Finally, the lips. I'm using Sephora Lip Stain in 22 today. Alright you guys, so here it is. This is my final James Charles inspired Louis Vuitton super controversial look. I hope you like it. I think it's really cool and I would totally wear that out. I like this eye a little bit more. I don't know what happened here. The logo isn't as vibrant. It, the pattern isn't as good. But this side, I'm really proud of myself, you guys. I would love to know what you think of it down in the comments below. I hope you recreate it. All you need is patience. If you are one of those people that don't have any I'm, I'm pretty certain you won't like this. It takes a steady hand, it takes practice and as you could see like on my first try it came out great and then I did this eye and it wasn't as great. So just keep on practicing and you'll get where you want to be. Don't give up, just wipe it off and do it again. That's all you have to do, just keep on trying. I've got faith in you. 
thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed that if you did make sure to like comment subscribe i hope to see you next time you are the best <laughs>